a quick overview of the new assembly workbench, which will be the default in the next version of FreeCAD. Before adding components, the assembly must be saved. Add the required components from one or more files. In the window on the right, you can see which components have been added, which have not, and their quantity. Components can be moved freely as long as no joints are applied. One of the components must be grounded, to which all other components will be attached. The first connection is fixed. The components are connected without degrees of freedom rigidly. The connection can be reversed, as well as an offset or angle can be added. Create a revolving joint. Next is the cylindrical connection. It allows the part to rotate and move. Slider connection. Component moves along the axis but does not rotate. Ball joint. Tie goes to a point. Distance joint allows you to set the distance to the desired component of the assembly. It is also possible to set parallelism between component planes, parallel joint. Perpendicular connection. All connections can be viewed in a separate folder in the construction tree. You can also add movement and rotation limits for joints. Now the component only rotates 90 degrees.
There are also other types of special purpose joints. It is also possible to create an exploded view. Components can be moved manually or you can use the explode radially function. With its help components are moved automatically. Looking forward to further improvements, optimization and new functionality.